Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Marshall bringing you guys another video guys in today's video We're covering every single thing you want and need to know about the vending machines the new items that they actually brought to the game If you guys did not hear about this I made a video a couple of days ago talking about how they're bringing vending machines within the game because somebody ended up finding a glitch Where they saw it under the map before they even released it But now today they actually release the vending machines and I'm gonna tell you right now guys the vending machines are amazing I love that they added this to the game because one it gives more reasons to farm material and stuff like that so that way when you kill somebody they're gonna have a lot more material because they're probably in their mindset they're like let me farm material just in case if i run into a vending machine i can actually buy items so guys basically in these vending machines you can buy different items you can buy uh rpgs you can buy submachine guns you can buy assault rifles shotguns snipers anything the list just goes on you guys so the vending machines are really cool that they brought to the game because guys if you're just sitting there and you're in a moment where you need a weapon or something and you have all this wood and stuff you can just buy something out of the vending machine say you have a favorite weapon like the RPG is your favorite weapon You can end up finding this in a vending machine and buy it with material and it's not hard to get material within the game But it is hard to find an RPG say you just want a legendary RPG And you're looking all around the map and you never find one if you find a vending machine that has a legendary rarity You can actually hopefully get an RPG out of it with only 500 wood Which you can actually farm wood very easy so in today's video We're gonna cover where to find the vending machines locations what the vending machine machines do how rare is it to find the vending machines and what you can all get out of the vending machines so with that being said let's get into the video Guys, I want to thank you before we actually start for everything on Twitter. You guys are actually showing a lot of love and support over on my Twitter. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, go check in the link in the description. Follow me there. I'm actually going to be doing a separate giveaway for Twitter people only. So all you guys that are showing a lot of love, favoriting everything, trust me, I see who you are. And I'm going to be giving away some stuff over there. So if you guys want... Go follow me on Twitter and hit me up there. So they introduced a new thing called vending machines within the game, guys. This is basically like chests within the game, Fortnite Battle Royale. So basically, if we look around the map, there's different chest locations that have specific spawn locations. Now, if you go to that spot, sometimes the chest will be there and sometimes it won't. The same instances happen with the vending machine. Even though you go to a place that has a vending machine there one time, the next game, it might not be there. So actually, I have a picture of all the locations so far of the different vending machines as you guys can see on screen now there's different locations for the vending machines and these are only the little bit of spots that we know now there could be a lot more spots and locations but these are the ones we know now so if you guys want screenshot this because that's exactly what i did for this video is i i looked at the image and landed at these spots just to find the vending machines so i can see what i can actually get out of it and some of them you guys are going to see playing in the background later on i actually find a legendary rpg out of it so sometimes it might be good to land at these locations that have the vending machines so that way once you take over the town if you don't have anything good like any good loot you can hopefully hope that there's a vending machine there but basically in the picture we have greasy grove all the main cities greasy grove pleasant park uh tilted towers flush factory retail row salty spring tomato town anarchy all have vending machines and then there's random vending machines in like loot lake there's a uh, random ones on mountains and stuff like that snobby shores the soccer field there's one there they're just all all over the map guys every single location you could think of I think has a possibility of having a vending machine now I'm gonna tell you now the rarity of actually finding a vending machine is like one for four so it's about a 25% chance that you'll actually get a vending machine where you go again that's not saying that if you land there one time it'll be there you could land there twice and it'll be there two times in a row you never know but I'm saying it's, it's kind of hard because when I was making this video I would literally land at two of these locations I would land at one location check there would be no vending machine I moved to the next location check there would be no vending machine the next Next location no vending machine by the time I hit the fourth location that's when I finally found just one vending machine so that's how hard it is sometimes to find these things it is pretty hard but I, I'm not saying it's like the llama in the game the llama is still probably the hardest thing to find within the game but I'm just saying out of the rarity of hoping that when you land at a city it'll be there 100% it's not 100% guarantee that it'll be at that city so with that being said that's how rare it is to actually find these vending machines now we're gonna cover the rarity of each vending machine so these vending machines basically they have a rare 
rarity where you, if you guys don't know the weapons have the different colors so you have your common weapons you have your uncommon your rare your epic your legendary and these these all change by the color the white the green the blue the purple and the gold the vending machines have the actual exact same thing each vending machine has its own color scheme and basically if you find a vending machine in the background showing right now I will show you guys each color scheme and what it looks like so if you find a common or a white version it will cost a hundred material for anything there they're gonna have three materials on each vending machine you guys this is a lot of information to take in but it, it's really easy to process there's three items on each vending machine so you could basically have a choice to get three different things um now the material they're gonna have a hundred for the common they're gonna have a hundred wood a hundred brick and a hundred steel so that way if you don't have all the wood in the world and you only have steel you can actually just wait till it cycles through and you'll end up getting the steel but if you don't want to sit there and wait all you have to do is hit it with your pickaxe and it'll switch immediately to the next item once it's on that item that's when you hold x or square or whatever it is whatever console you guys play on and that's when it'll end up showing up popping out now how it comes out is just like a normal chest you'll just get the the weapon and then a little bit of ammo to go with it it's not like the llama that you find where you're getting hundreds of things and it's insane you're just getting the weapon and a little bit of the ammo next we have the uncommon which is the green version you guys this will cost 200 material playing in the background right now i actually found it over at pleasant park by the gas station i'll show you guys a few of the locations where i find them but i found every single color variant so that way i can show you guys in today's video next up we have the rare which is the blue one this will cost 300 material guys this one's actually you can find now we're getting up there to the good items the blue items the purple and the gold items are the really good so you're going to actually end up spending more material blue items are 300 material which i know a lot of people can get 300 mats easy all you have to do is break like four or five trees and you can pretty damn close to 300 next up we have the purple version which is the epic this is going to be 400 material guys i found this over by pleasant park at the witch house like it's the house that's in the woods that's like abandoned and stuff like that it's a big house i like to call it the witch house because it just looks like a haunted abandoned house i mean it's right by haunted hills and it's in between pleasant and a in the woods basically by itself that's why i actually call it that but there we found a purple RPG you guys and if you guys watch the gameplay playing in the background right now You can actually see we actually got rushed after we found this so these vending machines. They're so popular right now I think that a lot of people are trying to get to them to the point where these are gonna be locations that you're gonna see a lot of gunfights and just expect if you find a group of people there and you see that there's a purple RPG in that vending machine You got to know that these people probably ended up buying the purple RPG So you're going against a full team of RPG people So it's definitely gonna make things a little difficult in the game because think about it if you and your squad run into another squad that ran into a legendary rpg thing all four of them have rpgs and they're just shooting you with rpgs there's nothing you can do about it but think about it as your side if you guys run into like we did the purple vending machine we can all end up buying the purple rpg and we can just bombard people and it'll just dominate the game if we all four have rpgs it's over and with that being said we're covering the very last rarity which is the legendary the gold this one is it's guys this is actually the very first one I found was the gold one. Playing in the background right now, this is my first time ever seeing it. I had no clue. I mean, I knew that the vending machines were coming, but I was surprised when I saw it. I was like, oh, crap, the vending machine. I wish I had the, my reaction to it, but I just I didn't record my reaction, sadly. But in that vending machine, you actually see we have a chug jug and two RPGs. I think it's actually two chug jugs and an RPG. So that's insane that we can actually find a chug jug. So this means, yes, not only can we find weapons in these things, we can find heals. We can find baby shields and the green ones. We can find uh, blue shields shields and the in the blue ones we can find the purple slurp juice there's just all kinds of different things you can also find med, med kits and stuff like that so it's not just weapons it's literally i think everything in the game but to be able to buy a chug jug and an rpg off of a legendary thing that is insane i mean especially if your health is really low like at the end game when your health is low and you have no mats or you have all the mats in the world because you and your team just dominated but you have no heals or anything like that if you find a vending machine you can actually come in clutch buy your whole team of chug jugs and you guys can all be healed up ready to go for the next fight so definitely in my opinion these chug jugs or the vending machines that they added to the game are insane I, i'm so happy that they added it it brings new things to the game and it's definitely something that i cannot wait to use and see other people finding now yes these vending machines do have a specific sound to it like if you run by a house basically if you want to see if there's a chest in a house without having to go in there all you do is you run past the house and you run to see if you can hear the chest these vending machines have a similar sound to it so you guys playing in the background right now i'm going to mute my mic so that way you guys can hear exactly what it sounds like i'm gonna turn it up It's 
So if you hear that sound when you're running by a certain location, that probably means that there's a vending machine in there. It's kind of hard to hear. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, unless you actually really turn up your Astros, your headset, it's going to be extremely hard to hear, but you can hear it if you run by. That's actually how we found this one right here. But guys, with that being said, that's everything that you need to know about these vending machines. They're here to stay for a while. There might be a challenge in week eight talking about the vending machines, but in week seven, there's no challenges talking about the vending machines. So for now, we don't know anything about week seven and vending machines collaborate. Now there was an update that I want to cover with you guys in this video. Guys, there are many weapons now have first shot accuracy, including weapons like suppressed submachine gun, uh, tactical submachine gun pistols, suppressed pistol, revolver, hand cannon, assault rifle, burst assault rifle. And basically when aiming standing still and the weapon has not fired recently, the first shot will be 100% accurate. So that first shot you ever take, there's going to be no bloom, which is really good because there's times where you're behind somebody and you have everything lined up because they're not moving. You shoot and nothing happens because of the bloom. This time, they're not going to have that at all. It's 100% accuracy. So when this is activated, the aim reticle will be completely closed and indicated this state. And it just really helps out for a lot of people when you're getting that first shot off to actually damage the person instead of having them turn on you. Um, damage fall off has been adjusted for the weapons with the first shot accuracy. Suppressed submachine guns and tactical submachine guns have a fall off begins at 24 meters. The damage is reduced from 80% to 35 meters and 65% at 50 meters. Again, all this stuff is over on a Fortnite Insider page, you guys. I will leave a link to that in the description underneath my Twitter. If you guys want to go read any of the patch updates that has happened in the game, you guys know the high explosive. They have a whole bunch of things like supply drops and stuff like that if you want to read all the patch notes and stuff all you got to do is click that link down below but guys thank you so much for all the love and support if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up you guys actually show a lot of love on these videos and i appreciate it let's try and hit 500 likes in today's video and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video peace